everyone, welcome to Flosstube episode 38. My name is Lydia um, and today it is Friday the 5th of March. It's a beautiful day outside, the sun is shining. Um, we had a little bit frost over the night, so it was, it was cold, but um, the sun is shining and that always makes me happy. Um, children are at school. They started um, going back to school full time um, last Monday. So uh, last Wednesday and today um, I am home alone for the first time in months. Um, so I made some good use of it. Um, I stitched witness day most of the, the time after doing some house chores of course that always seems to be uh, needed <laughs> um, and today I felt I wanted to film a little bit um, I have the time I have the house for myself um, so I surrounded myself with lots of stuff I have something new um, I want to share, where I'm very excited about. Um, I have whips, uh, multiple whips, I must say. I have some hole, um, actually quite a bit of hole, because I forgot to show it every time I filmed. And then I was like, no, I don't have any hole. And then I opened my closet and I was like, Hmm, I did have a hole. <laughs> so um, I gathered everything around me here um, to show you. Um, it's quite a bit actually. Um, first I want to start with something my uh, son made. Um, my son, Fedor, is uh, very creative. He um, loves to draw. He loves to um, make things out of paper. Um, if there is a package coming and it's a big box, he w he wants the box and um, he makes some of something of it. He has made cars. He has made a hat out of a smaller box. Um, he made uh, books uh, where he wrote a whole story. Um, so yeah, he's, he's very creative and um, we support that. Um, we think it's good for children to um, be artistic in any kind of way, if it's music or if it's art or anything like that. Um, so um, one day he came up to me and um, he also loves to watch um, vloggers, uh, Dutch vloggers. And most of them have their own merchandise when they become a little bit bigger. Uh, and he really likes um, that his mother is on Flushtube. So um, he was like, well, mom, if you have more subscribers, then you should have your own merch. Uh, well, uh, yes, uh, that's a possibility. I don't know if people want to wear something with lovely stitches on it, but uh, that would be fun. So uh, he said, um, can I make you? uh the merch can i can i draw it yeah sure honey you can draw it so he came up with this this is just a simple layout um if i wanted more then he would draw that for me um, he made a hat and that says lovely stitches with some butterflies and I am, I am sorry if you hear my next door neighbor, um, he is doing some work on his house and I waited until he stopped, but apparently he isn't done yet. So I just hear him hammering again. I'm sorry if you hear that. I really want to film this video, so I hope it isn't too annoying. If he starts making too much noise and will stop filming. But otherwise, I'm sorry. Um, he also made a sweater. These are the um, cords you will have hanging here from your uh, 
hoodie. Um, and it says love, power, and lovely stitches. And he even made me some pens, which says stitch power. Is that cute? And I was like, well, can I show this in my next video? Yes, of course. He was really proud of his, uh, his idea. So I think it's really cute. So if anyone is interested in some merch of lovely stitches, let me know. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But uh, I really love this. So cute. And I love it how he supports me. So maybe we should dive in to whips first. I have a lot. I have two, four, six, seven whips. Yes, I have them all here. Um, I will start with, with my um, Stitch Kateers Friendship Cell, which is uh, Quilting Me, my blue flower. Um, last Friday there was a Zoom meeting, which I attended for half an hour. We used to have a desktop computer here downstairs for the children when they were uh, going to school or when they had to be homeschooled, I should say. But um, since they were going to back to school again, we brought it upstairs to our attic where is our office. Um, normally when I have a Zoom meeting, I use one of the iPads we have. We have three. Yes, that's a luxury problem, but they are all very old. The one I'm using, um, I can run Zoom on, but the other two are too old. I can't even download Zoom. But um, since the desktop computer was upstairs um, and it's very heavy, it's just a screen, but everything is in the screen. So um, it's, it's an, um, sort of like an iMac. It's not an iPad, iMac, it's an HP computer. But it's very heavy. Um, so my husband brought it upstairs again and um, well, I said I'm going to Zoom and it was actually very handy using the desktop, desktop computer. Um, and he um, said, well, I'm going to get it down for you. And um, But then he came down with a laptop, which is also an older laptop. <laughs> But it has a, a camera, it could run, uh, run Zoom, so uh, he said, are you comfortable using that? Sure, if it works. We tried it, it worked. So that night I was going to enter the Zoom room and um, it didn't work. It um, made me freeze all the time. Um, so I was like, you know what, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going out of the room and I am going to enter again using the iPad. But you could guess already what happened. That iPad ran out of battery. <laughs> so I plugged it in and if you're waiting on an, any appliance to load... <sighs> I was waiting, I was waiting, I was, um, oh man, and at some point it had about 7% of battery. Um, <laughs> so I was like, well, I'm going in and then I have enough. But uh, apparently Zoom is a very heavy program, so it pulled a lot of battery from that iPad. So I have been in Zoom room for about... 20 to 30 minutes after that. So I was really bummed and my husband felt very sorry. I couldn't meet up with the girls. Um, but um, yeah, things happen. Um, I stitched a little bit on the quilting bee by myself, but um, it wasn't a lot. So I decided to pull it out again the next day. And I um, did put in uh, two lengths of thread uh, on Saturday. Um, and this is where I am now. But um, it doesn't really feel... Um, 
it feels weird not stitching on this without of uh, um, stitching on this without the stitch tears so i only put in two lengths of thread i um, completed the second wing and added some of the darker blue inside of the wing i started doing a little bit of lighter blue inside did a little bit of this and i worked my way down so that's actually what I did Friday night and Saturday. Not a lot, but um, I'm happy with the progress. Every cross is one, so... And I really love this pattern. I am really eyeing on the new um, release from the Blue Flower for uh, Needlework Expo, which is happening this weekend. I didn't make any pre-order or anything. Um, I usually wait um, till I see someone stitching it. And most of the time I'm like, oh, I should have that. So, but it, that is also a bee pattern, but it has a lot of more pink in it. It's really pretty. Um, so I might add that to my stash, but I haven't pre-ordered it yet. I do that later. Let me have a sip of my cappuccino before it's cool. Um, well, I'm going to grab this one. This is in my very shiny project bag, bought at Action. And this is Farewell to Anger, artwork by Leonid Avramov, charted by Hate. Um, oh, I'm stitching the quilting bee on the cold for r and &R, 40 count, with all the cold flosses because I really love how it is looking on the cover photo and I'm really, really pleased with how it's turning out. This is a lot bigger than quilting bee. This is on 18 count Ada with all the cold for DNCs. I am currently at 8.79% and I did a thousand crosses on this one. I have a little rotation going on between my height, um, doing a thousand crosses and then switching over to another one. I have five heights um, where one is my focus piece for finishing this year and the other four I am switching uh, I'm alternating after every thousand stitches, so they get um, similar attention every year. So this I have done a thousand stitches on. I really love how the colors are on, on the screen. So, yeah, lots of confetti on some places. You would think these are blocks of color, but it has um, lots of confetti and I'm missing a lot of colors because I <laughs> I use all the DMCs for other projects so I am ordering DMCs to fill up my um, storage box again um, but I managed to do a thousand stitches um, because it has so many colors there's always a color you can pick and work on. Um, then I was talking about my um, focus piece, which is my fall fairy. I haven't been working a terrible lot on it. I am um, stop now. I am uh, at March uh, 6th, which is tomorrow. With my goal, I have a daily goal of 125 stitches. So after tomorrow, I need to um, work on it again. But maybe I will work on it a little bit tonight. This is full fairy, and uh, this is artwork by Ruth Sanderson, uh, charted by Hate. Uh, unfortunately, it is retired, and uh, uh, I am. I have this pattern for about eight or nine years, so 
I'm sorry, if you would like to stitch it, maybe you could send uh, Michelle from Heaven and Earth Designs a message, but um, to see if it comes back. Because it is absolutely a blast to work on. And I have to move back a little bit. <laughs> this is Fall Fairy. Um, I am currently at 81.51%. And last time I worked on, and my needle is also in that area still, <laughs> I mainly worked on this part. Um, I had um, made the little fairy, uh, you've seen her the last time I showed it, and now I started working over. Um, I really like working from uh, the right hand corner or the right, ha right hand side from a pattern over to the left. I use a sewing method and I um, like uh, working my way over from right to left. So, um, yeah, I've worked in a little bit of black over here and there are several brown and red tones which I worked in. And I also worked in a little bit more of the yellow up here, but that's just a little bit of the dress. So, yeah, every time I pull this out, I am also really wanting to work on it. So. I might work on it a little later, so I can give up with my daily goal. Um, then I have um, something which also shows a little bit of a hole, so I'm going to show this in between and the other part I will show uh, later on. Um, I saw on Instagram uh, another Dutch flush, flush tuber, or actually she is English, but she's living in the Netherlands, um, Diane. Her channel name is uh, Frog and Fudge, and I will link her below. Um, she also has Instagram, and I believe her Instagram is Diane.xstitch. I will look it, look it up and I will put her uh, down below. Um, she made a post on Instagram that she was making project bags and that she was selling them. Um, and um, that until somewhere in April, um, shipping is free. Um, I was very happy because project bags um, with a final front are hard to get here in the Netherlands or they are really expensive. Um, I would love to make them on my own, but I don't know where I can get the final front and I don't know if I'm experienced enough doing that, but I would love to try. Um, but I really wanted to have one. I, I, I have been watching all you American stitchers. You have all those amazing project bags and um, I wanted one for myself. Um, she was uh, showing them on their Instagram and I was like, oh, I need one. I am going to splurge and buy one for myself. Um, and that's this one. It has my project inside, which I'm going to show you in a little later. Um, it's this one with the flamingos and a polka dot um, inside, a light pink zipper, which matches really perfectly and the back is also with flamingos and she quilted it with a pink thread I, I absolutely love it it's a large one it um, can hold an 11 by 11 uh, q-snap um, I love larger project bags especially for this project this is my flower face from Thea Gouverneur which is a large project it has a lot of threads um, so I have enough space to store them the way I want it. I have them on uh, the floss cards they came with right now. Uh, but it is already a little bit messy, so I don't know if I will keep it that way. I don't know, I don't like floss cards, but it always tends to get messy. 
Um, I got uh, a tip from uh, a viewer that I could braid the sauces. So maybe I will do that and see if it works for me. I really love the bag, Diane. It's, uh, it's really, really nice. Thank you. Uh, so inside I have my flower face, which is uh, this one. I'm stitching the black one. Am I showing it the right way? Yes. <laughs> I'm stitching it on the black Ada. This was a gift for my birthday last year from um, my husband. It's also a big piece. Uh, I am not really a small piece stitcher, I suppose. Even though I like smaller pieces and I will come back to that uh, a little later after showing my whips. Let me fold it a little bit. I'm working on this one day a week, mostly in the weekends uh, because it's black. I need good lightning. Um, so I, I work on it during the day. Um, in the night I can not really see it as well as during the day. So. I worked on it a little bit. I worked my way up into a yellow flower and here is a big white flower coming which looks a little bit gray right now but uh, it's really pretty. It's um, if you I don't know if you can see it if I hold it up close there's a little bit of confetti in it um, but it looks looks really nice. So it's really worth it. It's stitched on 18 count Ada um, or 20, no, 20 count Ada with one thread, one over one, and it's really nice to work on once you are used to the black Ada, I should say. And so. Then I have a new start I really want to show you. I have it in this cute little project bag I bought from Ally Express, um, which are the same ones you can find on Amazon. In this little bag I have Oxview, the Plum Street Samplers. I already stitched Rextack and now I am doing this one. I really love the blue flowers. I am doing it with all the colorful colors and I'm stitching this on a 32 count legacy I picture this plus and this is how far I am I have one fox almost done I have to fill in his tail a little bit more but isn't he cute I love it Yay! I really love the sweet wee. I uh, we uh, I'm not doing a lot of challenges this year. Um, I'm trying to finish up my hate for FC or hashtag FC finish challenge 2021. And I have uh, something new I want to talk to you about in a little bit. Um, but. I am not doing any challenges or um, I don't want to be committed to something I am not able to finish or do or so I have uh, my folk hair is my focus piece I have another focus piece which I will show you in a minute um, because the chart is falling apart um, and um, but yeah swimming is really something I really love um, I will show you the project, which is my other focus piece, um, which is my Four Seasons uh, from Mario Line Bastian, which is this one. Um, I have been working on this for several years, uh, but since my chart is falling apart, I really should speed a little bit on this one. Um, so this is my project. As you can see, I am almost done with it. 
Um, I don't know if you already saw I finished this little bird on a bristle. Um, the last time. But I finished this and then I moved up and I finished this butterfly. Last night I finished this one and I started working on the third one. And um, after that I have to move a little bit down where there are two motifs and a Mario line uh, I have to work in. And then here is a bowl of um, pumpkins I believe I need to stitch. And then it's finished. Um, and I really love it. It's a little bit bigger than 40 count. I believe this is a 28 count. Even we. But it's very nice to work on. And I am really happy it's almost finished. So I can take that off my whip list. And then I work a little bit on Super Mario. I uh, will show you a little bit of the pattern. This is a pattern of, from Etsy. Um, and I'm stitching this for my son on 20 count Ada. 101. And you can see he has eyes. So you can see now. Um, so yeah, it's really cute. I hope you don't hear my washing machine. As you know, house chores. Um, so yeah, after I'm finished with this one, I'm going to stitch uh, my little pony for my daughter. Then I have my latest whip, which is also a hate, also in a project bag by the action. And, and this is a mini owl in Poppy Field. I love owls. I think they're really cute. Um, and I'm stitching this for my daughter's room. <coughs> Excuse me. I really like the pinks in this project. And this is a mini, mini owl in Poppy Field. Also stitching this on 18 count Ada. As you can see, I've reached uh, the two corners on the top. I started working on this side, but I, as I discovered while I am using the sewing method now, I like working from right to left, so I made my way over to this corner. Um, I did most of my work on this corner, but I also worked in a little bit of the cranic in the owl's head. And, um, this is actually a project I want to see finished this year or maybe next year. So we'll see. I've also done a thousand stitches on this one. So I'm ready to move on to the next project. And um, the next project will be Peacock's Plumage. Where I need to be need to do a thousand stitches on, and after that it is Princess asleep, and then I will start over again um, with um, Mini Owl and Poppy Field and Farewell to Anger. Um, so yes, as told, I have uh, something new. I thought of. Um, I there are a lot of freebies uh, out on the um, on the web. <laughs> uh, a lot of designers uh, started uh, giving out freebies for the Be Well and Stitch movement. Um, Liz Matthews is uh, giving away freebies every newsletter because she exists one year. Um, or her shop exists one year. She exists longer, but <laughs> you will get my point. Um, and I have been collecting a lot of those freebies. I have a big binder here, which is jammed <laughs> with freebies. 
Um, it's even so jammed, I have uh, some of them lying next to it. And I have been cleaning up a little bit of this. These are the... Show. The Brooks Books uh, Advent Calendar. Don't know if I will stitch the numbers on it, but I will stitch some of the animals. So, um, I have a lot of freebies I want to stitch. And um, I have thought of something new. Um, as you know, I have a Zoom meeting every other Friday. But on the other Friday, I was thinking about doing Freebie Friday. What I will do is I will start a new freebie every other Friday. Um, so I will have two weeks to work on it. Um, sometimes you will have a small freebie and you will finish it within the hour. So that's okay. Sometimes it will be a little bit bigger and you will have uh, two weeks um, to finish it. You will need it. Um, but I thought it was a really good idea for me um, to really start start working on those freebies because I have a lot of them and I really want to stitch a lot of them. But uh, time and other projects I want to finish and um, but I really want to, to finish some things um, this year. Um, so I was thinking on doing that. I'm going to start today and I'm really excited. After I film this, I will start. Um, and I will start with uh, one from Liz Matthews. I really love her designs. Um, I um, I actually want to stitch it you I like I believe it says um, it is a really really simple pattern actually uh, Evelyn across the pond has uh, been doing it um, and I think it will look very nice in our home. Um, so yeah that <laughs> but i'm going to start with a small first and um, that will be this one my washing machine is finished this is a hope celebration small um she this was the first freebie she sent out in her newsletter um, i really recommend you um you will sign up for that newsletter because this is just so pretty um, and I am, I need to take it out of the bag. I don't know yet what I will do because I have uh, two options. There is my other one here. I have two options and I have three kinds of fabric. <laughs> which look a little bit alike. Um, no, I'm not going to do this one. I have two kinds of fabric. And I have two. Um, DMC variegated threads. Um, I have a fabric flare in the colorway stone, and I have vintage beige, which are really a little bit similar. This is a little bit darker and modeled. And I have DMC four one one zero in. Four five zero zero, um, which I'm going to pick from, and I'm really thinking about going for this combination because it looks a little bit of a cover photo, and I really love the springy feel of it. I'm not going to show you the chart. It's a little bit springy, the colors, and I think this will look nice. And as you can see, I bought this fabric from Steekjes and Kruisjes, which is a Dutch webshop. And they have beautiful pieces of fabric. But I also love this variegated thread, uh, which is also springy. But maybe I will keep that for another project. I think I'm going for this. So this will be my first hashtag Freebie Friday. Um, and I'm really excited to start. Um, 
I hope you would like to start with me. And if you do so, use the hashtag uh, Freebie Friday so I can follow you. Um, every other Friday for me, if you want to start something every Friday, please do so. Inspire me, inspire other stitchers. Um, I really love to see all those freebies. So yeah, I'm really excited to start that one. Um, then I have some other plans uh, I really want to do in the future, but um, I really need to see how I am going to do that. Um, I took an, um, I signed up for Weekly uh, a little while ago. Uh, actually, it was last summer something. Um, and then I received a new email that I could get two months free um, because I signed out uh, at one point. Then I received an email I could get two months free uh, if I signed up again. And I was like, well, maybe I would do that. So I downloaded some patterns of it already. Um, I haven't been through all the magazines yet. Um, and I also took a subscription for uh, Punch Needle and Cross Stitch Needlework magazine. Am I saying that right? Punch Needle and Cross Stitch magazine. Um, which I received for my birthday. I need to download those patterns also and uh, print it. I like to use printed copies, so that's why I'm doing that. Um, so I need to see if I can work in some of those, um, but some of them I really loved, uh, which is this one, Nutcracker Ornament, and I'm not showing you the pattern. I saw this one also on Evelyn Across the Pond, and I really loved it, um, so I want to stitch this for Christmas, so I have some time for that. <laughs> I saw this one, which is Winter Stitching by Barbarana, and I thought, I think this is really cute. She also has a, a new pattern out with Netka Moscow uh, called Four Seasons. I really love that one too. Barbarana makes really nice patterns. So I think this is cute. Also from Just Cross Stitch magazine. Uh, and I'm really sounding like a... F a f a fan girl, but I saw this one on um, Evelyn across the pond. Um, she held this one up, which is Round Robin, also from Just Cross Magazine, and I thought it was so cute. I think it's more um, autumn wintery pattern, so maybe I will start it later on. Um, but I, I thought it was cute. And since we are talking about Evelyn across the pond, she is uh, doing a sale for Madame Chantilly, her uh, winter tier. And I really wanted to join that one. I have the Halloween tier. Um, I bought it at a retreat uh, two years ago. I never started it. Um, I wanted to start it together with Debbie, but it never. She started it, but I never started it. Um, but. Um, I saw some of the tiers are really, really lovely. Um, I really liked the winter one um, and um, I believe it's the spring one or the Easter one. One of them I thought was a little bit boring and they are for the similar period. So I bought one of them and I bought the winter one and I'm hoping it will be here tomorrow. Um, and I have the Halloween one, but there are some others, like the summer one is also very pretty. But I really wanted to join that cell and my LNS, um, well not really my LNS because it's on the other side of the country, but I like to order at Sudi Day. Um, she's always really fast with, uh, with her shipment and it's always very nice packed, uh, wrapped and stuff. Um, but she had them again this week and I immediately ordered and uh, I'm hoping she sends them out today and I will receive them tomorrow, but she's very busy so no problem at all if it's a little bit later. Um, but then I can join that cell. 
and then I will later on I will um, go for um, the Halloween one um, to start working on that one. Um, then I have this one, Snowman Street. Um, a lot of you already stitched it for Christmas and I thought it was really cute. Then I found this one and it's a lovely gnomes. Gnome, gnomes. Um, we've been to Denmark last year and there you saw a lot of this little funny little man. Um, uh, yeah, it made me think of Denmark. It made me think of the wonderful holiday we had there. So I want to stitch this one. It's really cute. And I saw this one, which is actually not a big one. ABCs of Love. And it's really bright and um, uplifting. I want to stitch this one also. Um, so. And then I found this one, which should stitch up very easy. It's called My Love. It's cute. Um, so yeah, that's that for plants. Then I have the, all the hole I bought during the last couple of months. Um, yeah, it's, it's a, quite a big pile actually. <laughs> but I didn't buy it all at once. Um, I bought Lizzie Kate. Christmas in stitches, Christmas ABC I should say, yes Christmas ABC, I saw this stitched up at, um, oh what's the channel name, uh, I forgot, she made a cute little pillow out of it, um, I believe on 28 count Lugana or something, so it was a really decent size. Uh, what's her name? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Um, but this pattern was sold out a long time. But a lot of people wanted to stitch this and they um, messaged 123 Stitch that they wanted to. And they um, Reprinted, reprinted it and it was available again, so I bought my copy. I already have a fabric in mind for that. Then I bought Penny Autumn by Plum Street Samplers. I really love Plum Street. Um, she has cute patterns. I saw this stitched up on Murky. I believe it was Michelle, Mama Loves Your GV, who did this on Murky. I will love it. I have Murky in my stash, so I might do it on that. Then I bought You Are My Heart by Puntini Puntini. Um, I love that snowman. And I really love the buttons you can use for it. I also have two other um, patterns. I once bought a gift bag from Sooty Day and um, there were two other patterns from Puntini Puntini in there. Um, which also contained lovely buttons, really pretty. Um, then I bought secondhand um, Deck the Holes. I believe I showed this already. Deck the Holes by Blackbird Designs, um, where you can stitch all those berries. Um, really cute. Plum Street Sampler is. Uh, the birthday tart from Jack's sweet shop. Um, I have a very large candle called Woodwick, um, which is really pretty uh, candle with a wooden lid on top. Once it's finished, I want um, this on top of it, and it will be my oat jar. Um, right now, I use <laughs> this little tin as my oat jar, um, and it's jammed. <laughs> um, I have to move that to a bigger or jar, but um, I want to stitch this and put it on the lid. 
and I think that will look very cute. Um, ye old crow sampler, hard in hand. Yeah, just pretty. I bought Country Cottage Needlework Love Lives Here. I believe I showed this before. I really fell in love with all the pigs. Um, and I thought it was a beat and pretty. So I want to stitch that. Then I bought um, this Dell's Blue pattern. It doesn't say on the cover photo. It's a kit from Paco. I saw this at um, Cindy Love and Stitch. She stitched it on an even weave or a linen. I don't know exactly which one, but um, it's provided with Ada. Um, I don't know yet if I will work on the 14 count Ada for this or um, that I will do it also on an even weave. But I really love this and I think it will look very nice um, in our bedroom which has similar colors. So I need to start that soon. Um, and then I have my latest acquisition which is this... Uh, pattern by Luca S called The Fox. Um, I saw Debbie, Creatively Yours and Jemana, the rocking stitcher. They received um, an invite from my bobbin to shop uh, at, their, uh, at their workshop. And they bought this with their gift card or yeah, how you should say that with their um, spending money. Um, this was on my wish list for a very long time. I already saw this stitched up without all the back stitching, which makes it really soft. Um, and it's so cute with all the flowers around his head, the leaves. Um, so I immediately jumped on the bandwagon and I bought it. Um, and this I am going to stitch on the Ada provided. It has anchor threads. I don't know if I like you working on these cards, <laughs> but I will see. Or else I will see if I can bobbinate all the threads. So we are selling this one. So I will wait. Uh, only Jemima has to receive hers. So when she has it, we will pick a day to start it. Really cute. So that's it. It's a long video for my normal. I am at 20 to 30 minutes. I am almost at 50 minutes now. So thank you if you uh, spent your time with me until the end. I am going to start my hope celebration small. I hope you will join me for hashtag Fibri Friday. Uh, I hope to see you very soon. Stay safe and happy stitching. Bye!